Hi everybody, my name is Jim with Fullman Adventure Club and today we're going to do a real quick review on the Battery Tender Junior 800. Uh, it's an 800 milliamp charger and it's good for lithium batteries as well as lead acid, AGMs, uh, sealed, all those batteries. So it basically handles just about anything and uh, I really liked it because I have lead acid batteries for starting the RV and also lithium batteries for running the RV. Uh, back in the coach battery. So it's great that it does both and it is a little smart charger So you can leave it uh, connected at all times, which is really really handy So you can just put these in the garage or the basement or whatever and just leave it connected and forget it And your batteries will be good to go when you need them. So I really like that about the charger um, This will work for just about anything So you have AGM flooded gel or lithium batteries and the lithium batteries that it's rated for are the LIFE PO4 batteries lithium iron phosphates like I have in my RV. So uh, this is really a no-brainer. It works really, really well and it's very, very easy to use. Um, it comes with, uh, let's check out what's in the box real quick. You just kind of open it up. It's got its basic wall charger, so you're going to plug that directly into the wall. It has a really nice long length of cable so you can get down to your battery. I believe it's six feet or something like that. It's, it's plenty of cord, so I like that as well. Comes with a set of alligator clips so you can just clip it to your battery or it has two ring terminals so you can attach it more permanently. Um, this little guy is waterproof. I would say water resistant. They say waterproof, but I wouldn't submerge it. But it's definitely going to be good for boat applications or anywhere where you're going to have a little bit of moisture. It should be just fine. Um, also, what we're going to do here, one thing that uh, I saw some questions on the comments of its reviews on Amazon and stuff like that, was that people said it wouldn't charge a battery that was completely dead. And I thought, you know, what's the point of having a charger if you have an old dead battery that you can't try and save? or if your battery just totally runs down from leaving lights on, it's not gonna charge it back up. A dead battery is anything below 12 volts. That means it's pretty darn dead. 12.6 is a really good battery. 12.4 probably means you have 50% left. So anything below 12 volts is gonna be pretty dead. And what I did is I just, uh, I sacrificed my battery in the RV and I just turned all the lights on and I left it like that for like a week and we had snowstorms and it was cold. So that battery is probably hurting pretty bad. But let's check it out real quick and look at the resting voltage of this guy when I pulled it out of the RV. Okay, so I let this battery intentionally just go dead with the dome light on, left it that way for about a week and we had a snowstorm. So it's probably in really, really bad shape. Let's check the voltage. 1.62 volts oh my god that is about as dead as you can get a battery right there so this thing is beyond completely dead let's see how the battery tender handles it so what i'm going to do is just hook up my alligator clips here red for positive black for negative just like so i'm also going to connect my voltmeter so we can kind of keep an eye on things um, and then you're going to basically unravel your cord for your battery tender Go ahead and plug that in. Make sure it's set to lead acid in this case. And then we're going to plug that guy in and connect our cables. We're now charging. Okay, so that's a toast battery. That battery should probably not even come back. It's probably starting to sulfate and it's in super bad shape. Under two volts is crazy. So that thing is deader than a door now. Not easy to get a battery down that low. Um, so it's definitely dead. And what I did is I plugged that in. And after about 40 minutes of being on the battery tender, um, it was back up to over 12 volts, but of course when I pulled it off like the voltage would kind of start to drop You know because you really that battery is going to take a day or two to really get equalized and Balanced to see if it's worth saving uh, But it did get it up to 12 volts when I pulled it off the voltage did drop a little bit But I left it on overnight. I left it on for about 24 hours And then I wanted to make sure the battery was going to hold a charge So it took it up to 13.6 volts, which is where you want to be on lead acid batteries anyway and uh, then took it off and it fell back down to 12.6, which is the resting voltage of a charged lead acid battery. And then I left that battery alone and off the battery tender for a full week and then tested it. And guess where we're at? Right at 12.6 volts, which is awesome. That means it totally brought back that battery. It does charge from a completely dead state, charged it right up and it held its charge and it's still holding its charge at 12.6 volts. So that's awesome. Perfect test for a dead lead acid battery. It brought it up, it maintained it, it float charged it, and uh, boom, it's good to go. So I'm gonna be able to keep using that battery and put it right back in the RV and we're good to go. Now for lithium ion batteries, the only thing that you have to do, this guy has two buttons on it. You can either do lead acid batteries or lithium batteries. So you switch it over to lithium before you connect the battery and then you connect it. 
and that's it. You just let it run and do its thing. And um, I'm not, I didn't witness the maximum volting, uh, voltage curve that it got up to. And for lithiums, you'd probably want that to be about 14.6. I didn't witness that voltage, but I do know that it charged up the batteries and the resting voltage uh, after a couple of days of being on there was at 13.4, I believe. And uh, that's perfect, like 13.3, 13.4 volts is where you wanna keep lithium ion batteries. You don't want them fully charged and you don't want them fully discharged. You want them kind of just in the middle, somewhere in there. And that voltage is what all the lithium battery sites recommend that uh, your batteries you know, stay at right around there is a good voltage if you have charge controllers or uh, any other kind of chargers. They recommend that after your bulk charge, you do not charge or at least set your absorption charge to anything that's below 13.4 volts. So it performed perfectly. I've used the batteries twice. I did a bunch of tests with my lithiums and used that to charge it up instead of the RV because I was running inverter tests in my garage and it worked flawlessly. And it's very simple. You can't really go wrong. Um, it has, uh, what is it called, a uh, spark resistance. So it's not gonna spark when you touch, when you attach it, which is good if you have anything flammable around. Uh, also it has reverse circuit protection. So if you hook the negative to the positive in the wrong way, it's not gonna hurt anything which is great. And the fact that it's water resistant and completely easy to use. I mean, it's just lead acid or lithium. As long as you do that and connect it, you're good. And you can leave it all winter or whatever. So that's incredibly easy to use and uh, worked perfectly. And um, yeah, that's really, I guess, all you really need to know about it. I'll put a link in the description below on Amazon if you want to pick one of these up. Very affordable. And uh, I don't see how you could go wrong. I think they have a five-year warranty on this, I believe I saw. But it's gonna work for you. It's gonna work just fine. It's been working for me and the price is unbeatable. So if you wanna know how to store your RV batteries in the winter, uh, one of these is probably the easiest solution I've ever seen. Um, you can do up to two batteries on it, I, I think, in parallel. It's just gonna take a little bit longer uh, to charge up and flow, but it'll maintain up to two batteries, which is great. So that's pretty cool. Uh, other than that, if you have a big four battery bank or something like that you wanna keep charged, I'd go up a size or two, but they have lots of different sizes for multiple battery banks. So click the link below and check that out and pick one up and that'll solve a lot of your problems. I'm really liking it, loved using it, incredibly simple. You'll probably like it too. My name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club and until the next video, thanks so much for watching and happy camping.